This is Mary West from Engineering, and inspired by National Week of Making, I decided to try out a new medium. This week I've been playing with concrete. So I found these pretty cool molds on uh, residentobsession.com, and I picked up all the ones that I thought that I could use. Uh, after I started playing with the concrete, I thought, how can I embed electronics into this and make concrete a viable project enclosure? So this was my first test. It's hideous, but it works. So then I went from zero to 100 pretty quickly and decided that since electronics could be cast in concrete, I'm gonna design a keyboard and cast that in concrete. So this was my first attempt at casting a keyboard. And now that I know that it works, I'm going to be making a full suite keyboard. Uh, so this keyboard I designed to help me learn Morse code. So here's my dot and my dash, and then I have accept and reject. And uh, this knob just takes care of the contrast on the LCD screen. And there's gonna be more about this specific keyboard in a future video. Um, but as you can see in the, like the iterative process, this is ugly, this is less ugly. And then what we've got here is something that I find very beautiful. And I used the same mold that I used in this like hockey puck type thing down here, and I made a clock. So I used 12 of our WS2812 breakout boards, connected them all together, and I exposed the wire so that I could connect it up to an Arduino outside. And so far, I've programmed it in three different modes. Uh, one is simple, so if we turn it on, it should say five o'clock still, because that's the last time that it had saved. So that's the startup sequence, and then here you see it's at five o'clock. Uh, so that was the last time that I had the RTC breakout board um, saved, because I didn't put a battery in. Oops. Um, but so far, I'm really happy with uh, how this is coming out, and now I want to show you um, how I waterproof this. I'm actually going to take this part, take this apart. For this project, I used a concrete putty that was pre-mixed, and it actually has quite a bit of vinyl in it. And when I press on it, it's still kind of soft. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart so that you guys can see how I waterproof the circuit in preparation for it. So this was supposed to be uh, like a little side dish for paper clips and things, and then I have this hooked up to an RTC breakout that has. Uh, it will send an alarm and just start pulsating when it's time for lunch. The cool thing about this is that all of the electronics are cast inside and I waterproofed it by placing it into a bag using a little bit of hot glue to uh, seal the connections where I had to cut for the LED to poke out. And I used double-sided sticky tape to expose the switch and the USB connector for charging the battery. So this is a completely like enclosed system here, uh, but it's hideous. So now you see there's concrete evidence that you can use concrete as a project enclosure. The only drawback that, uh, that I've experienced to casting circuits in concrete is that it completely diminishes your ability to troubleshoot your circuit. So uh, as you can see, I encased everything in the electronics here. Here I broke out just the wires, but there's still some electronics in here because you have the Cherry MX switches. And here, the only thing that I've placed in was the LEDs and I have all the wires coming out. I would definitely recommend that you keep it minimal, what you cast, that way you can have a little bit more um, flexibility with what you can troubleshoot. But this was an incredible experiment that I think happened very successfully and I'd love to see what you guys think of casting concrete.